Hey. So the interesting thing is that last night I couldn't sleep. And because of that, I did a couple of things. Firstly, I framed up some maps and I uh, decided at around midnight that that was a good idea to do that. So I put, this is uh, Omaha, uh, bloody beach. Uh, the Bloody Beach. It's a TCS title. It's a really cool looking map and it's got uh, some nice details. Uh, there's obviously a lot more maps here for this, but uh, we're just going to use this one at the moment and just pop it up uh, on the wall. And then this is a spare map. When I purchased 1806, which is a two map game, uh, it had three maps in it. And uh, so I've got the, this is actually upside down, but nevertheless, I'll do it so you can see properly. This is uh, the primary map. There's, the Gen there's Jenna there, uh, right behind that glare. And so I pop that in a deal, and then we've got in frame, and then we've got uh, Empire of the Suns, which I purchased ages ago. I bought the mounted map and decided that uh, I was going to find myself a copy of the out-of-print game. And like all good things, it came to pass eventually. So I've got that as well. We're going to put them up on the big blank walls there, along with a couple of 172nd scale, well, actually 135th scale models. Uh, so I'm going to pause the camera here for a second, and we're going to uh, reconfigure things. So, uh, where was I? I said we were going to reconfigure things, and that's because I wanted to show you this map. Uh, this is a configuration for the game Patrol. Uh, I think it came out in 76 or 78, so it's kind of at the uh, beginning of the uh, accelerated growth phase of SPI, from what I've read. And uh, <clears throat> it's a man-on-man -man type of thing, so each counter represents one individual little dude. And it has some you know, basic rules and then some advanced rules. And then the uh, cool thing about it is that the order of battle uh, is generic. So any era, basically from World War I all the way through to uh, 1976 or the 80s, uh, uh, thereabouts, uh, you can play a uh, scenario. And all you need to do is based on the different nationalities that you can look up in the table in the back, Israelis and Soviets and Chinese and Vietnamese and Germans and Americans and uh, uh, NATO forces and German, uh, German uh, Bundeswehr forces and all this fun stuff. You can look all these different things up. And then you can create little scenarios. And the scenarios are, there are several that, or a dozen or more that are all set up and you have these six maps that you reconfigure. They're all uh, interchangeable. You can swap them all around in different directions and different configurations, and you can play games. So I thought this would be a fun title to play and uh, get my fix for narrative generation. Uh, we'll be able to write some stories out of this, hopefully. And we will uh, use this also uh, to do a play by poll. And one of the several different modes that you can engage in in the game, uh, there's a patrol mode, a recon mode, an assault mode, a defense mode, and some other mode. And so you can uh, do all this infantry-based activity. Uh, well, so anyway, so we're going to do a patrol, and the way that it works is that uh, using a random uh, chip pull, you can see all the way up here. Let's see if I can just zoom in up there. Okay, I'm probably going to screw this up. Whoa, what now? I haven't touched my camera for a while, so I'm being kind of, kind of slack. Okay, see that four? That's the entrance area. That's entrance area four. Don't ask me why that's four, but it is. And then just to the left of it is entrance area three, or uh, area three, I should say. And that's a blank piece of wall, blank piece of wall. And there are the forces. All right, so what does all that mean? Where were we? 
I think I was explaining uh, entrance areas and exit areas and we were talking about using this to play a game and we're going to do a patrol. Now what we're going to do, uh, the way, so the way the system works is uh, real, real simple, you enter here and then you have to exit here. Uh, but it's, you think, wow, well, gee, that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, does it? Because I can walk on and walk off. Well, what you have to do uh, before you start the game, it, it does use a hidden movement mechanic, but we're not going to need to worry about any of that because I'm going to do this in a play by poll mode and you guys can all uh, uh, choose the route that you will execute uh, across the map. And what you're going to need to do is take this force of guys, and I've got it I've broken up into fire teams, uh, and we're going to use the optional uh, rules for leaders so that there are, there's a We'll call it a platoon leader or a squad leader and uh, and two corporals, so a sergeant and maybe two corporals, uh, because the leadership adds some value uh, to the gameplay. Uh, these guys have to come on board and basically uh, make their way across the three maps. Um, and we'll just hook that bad boy there. The three maps. There's actually six maps. So six maps. <coughs> And you have to define the direction you're going to move and how you're going to do it and what uh, path you're going to take and uh, go through all of these different, he different hexes, different maps, and then make your exit. So in this case, because we come on in the top right hand side, we may, you know, and you guys will decide this, but you may come down, straight down, straight across, up to the top of A on the very top left hand side and then across to C and then exit. And that would uh, fulfill your obligation. Um, in the meantime, the Soviet player is, uh, we're doing NATO versus Soviet, or actually Bundeswehr versus uh, Soviet uh, era. So it would be 76, 78, uh, 80 era, something like that. Uh, and so the Soviets also come on at some location, and they come on the bottom half of the map somewhere. And what happens is the moment that we find each other, all bets are off. And it's whoever uh, then kills the most guys and gets the most guys off and doesn't breach their morale level or what they call their preservation level. And uh, whoever doesn't breach that uh, or breaches it by the least, uh, you know, masa manos, that's, that's uh, roughly right. Uh, we will then uh, tally out for two points and see who wins. So. I think this will be a fun uh, game. We will uh, have lots of craziness and chaos. We'll have uh, uh, an old school game being played. We'll have man-on-man -man action. There'll be lots of fun story going on and I'll get a chance to post some video to you. I'm thinking I'm gonna try, rather than take lots of pictures, uh, to actually do uh, short videos and give you information on the game based on uh, based on the situation that we see. All right, so uh, that's probably the situation that we'll uh, we'll look at and we'll take things from there.